Welcome back, it's Crypto, and today I wanted to show you something I discovered in Minecraft. It's called the Structure Block. You can get yourself one by using the give command. Give, then your name, and then Structure Block. It is basically a way for you to save structures in Minecraft. If you've ever been playing Minecraft and just seen the tree, and it was so ugly that you didn't want to use it, so you decided to build your own tree. But then you realized that you'd have to build it a thousand times, and you just didn't feel like doing that, and wanted a way to create it. Well, Structure Blocks basically can do that for you. I just found out about them yesterday, I don't understand them completely, but I know enough to make a video on how they work. So we're going to place a structure block in each corner, and we're going to set it to corner. The letters are C for corner, D for data, S for save, and L for load. We're going to put this one in corner mode, and we're going to call our structure tree. We're going to do the same in the other corner, but we need to make sure to spell it exactly the same. So uppercase letters are the same, and lowercase letters are the same, because it's case sensitive. Make sure you switch it to corner mode on both sides. And after that, we should have our tree contained in this box. It's drawn from the corner closest to the structure. So that corner for that block, and this corner for this block. I'll show you what I mean in a second. We're going to place down another structure block, but we're going to switch this one to save. And we're going to type in the name of our structure, which we call tree. Next, we can hit this detect button, which is going to detect the region. And this is what I mean by the corner. So this corner is where the lines start, and this corner is where this line starts. How we save this is we can go over here now that we've detected the region and we can press this save button. Now the region was saved as tree. The place that this is saved isn't actually in your Minecraft world folder. So if you go into your Minecraft directory, find your saves, find the name of this world, there should be a folder called structures and there's an NVT file with the name of your structure. I found out that you can actually export that into any world so you can make a structure in one world and then put it in any world you want which is really cool I think. We've already done the savings, so I'm going to load it in. We're going to switch it to L for load. I'm going to type in the name of my structure, which is tree. And I'm only going to press this load button once. After doing that, it should show about where the tree is. And this is the size of our tree. As you can see, it's the same box that's drawn right here. But it's actually floating in the air. And I don't want my tree to be floating. I want my tree to be on the ground like a normal tree. So I'm going to change this. This is relative position. This is the X, this is the Y, and this is the Z. Right now it says it's going to be one block above the block. But I don't want that. I want it to be zero blocks above it. Which is going to put it in the ground. And I want it to be put here so I can now hit load a second time. And it should generate my structure and take away the block. Even if I get rid of the old tree, I can absolutely destroy it. I'll even use some TNT to make this go by quicker. We can now say goodbye to my tree, but that doesn't matter. We have it saved in a file. If you do anything to it, we'll still be able to get it. It doesn't affect the tree. We can still give ourselves another one. Set this back to zero. Give this tree and load it. And our tree is here. I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.